Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today you got it's gonna be like a, a kind of vlog with me, but not really because it's already halfway through my day. I've already done a lot, so my day is kind of already over. But you're gonna be baking cookies with me because I'm gonna make some cookies. I'm gonna make sugar cookies. I might put chocolate chips in them, but I'm not sure. Or I'm gonna make the chocolate chip and put extra chocolate chip, but uh, we'll see. And I'm gonna ask my sister to help me with that, but. Right now, it is currently 22, and I do have the baby. Right now, she's playing with my Barbie doll that I stole from my sister. Say hi! Her <gasps> so pretty! Oh, look at her teeth, guys. She's so pretty, but she's watching Dancing Vegetables. She ate uh, some chicken nuggets from McDonald's, because me and Jalen got food, and I gave her some of the nuggets. But she's, she loves watching this video. She'll sit calm and watch this video, so I'm glad for her. Her's watching a video, playing with the Barbie. I stole this Barbie from my sisters, and um, yes, I still have Barbies. Um, ew, you putting it in your mouth? What the? I literally collect Barbies, and I literally collect mini brands, but people have been asking for a bump update, so I'm gonna show you guys. Nothing much has really changed, except for the fact that she's dropped, like she hangs out of my freaking shirts. So my stomach has dropped. The target. Then uh, my belly button is still, it's like getting like to the point where there's like no room to put anything in it because it's stretching out so much. But I thought maybe it was gonna turn into an Audi, but it didn't. So I'm 39 weeks and two days. Um, at my last appointment, I was still one centimeter dilated and 70% thinned. So if she doesn't come before my due date, I do have an appointment a day before my due date and then I'll be 39 weeks and seven and six days, sorry. And uh, if she's still not there yet, I'm not dilated anymore, then we're gonna have to probably schedule a time to induce me. So I will let you guys know about that. Okay guys, really quick, I do want to show you guys though at my last appointment, I got to get some 3D pics. Look at her. She was so mad because I was so mad. I don't even know why I was mad, but look. She is so pretty. I can't wait to see her actual face. Look at this one, she was giving <laughs> the doctor just stink face. No, just like, she's probably giving me stink face like, because we had to poke her to try to get to see her face because she was covering it. But look at her. Her's got her daddy's nose. She think, I think she has her daddy's lips, but I'm not sure yet. No, look at her. Her was so mad and her so chunky. Her little chunky cheeks. At my last appointment, I did find out that she was 7 pounds and 6 ounces. So, yeah. Her's a big old chunky girl. Oh, that's Jalen. Oh. All right, well. <laughs> okay, guys, so the baby was fighting her sleep, so she's at the end of the bed. Hers is sleeping. Got her baba. It's like three something, and me and Jalen are about to watch the uh, third Hunger Games. We're on the third one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so it's currently six something. I went to Nash's, I got me a bag of Flamin' Hot Doritos. Jalen was taking a nap. We didn't finish our movie, which we're about to do that now, but I got me a bag of Flamin' Hot Doritos and him a bag of Grippos. And then I got two uh, bags of Tutti Frutti's. They're two small ones for a dollar at my store. I don't know if it's like that anywhere else, but then I also got me this juice and I mixed some Miralax with it because I haven't pooped in five days, but the moment I was mixing this, I did go because I did drink some Miralax yesterday too. So that's great because it's been days, but um, probably not gonna eat anything besides the tutti frutti's and then I will let you guys know when I am baking the cookies. I did freak out though cause uh, we have no eggs and I was like shit, did I just make this YouTube video for nothing and I'm not gonna be able to make eggs. I mean, not gonna be able to make the cookies cause I wanna get something uploaded before I go into labor which is th this Thursday is my due date. So very soon I wanted to upload another video for you guys. Oh, but I checked and you just need butter and I think water. So that's perfect. All right guys, so I'm making these sugar cookies. Jalen doesn't really like chocolate that much, so he doesn't want chocolate chip cookies. And honestly, sugar cookies sound good to me anyway. But like I said, you just need one and a half stick of 
butter, one fourth cup butter, and then one tablespoon water. So I'm gonna measure that out now. Oh crap, I forgot to put this in the bowl first. I got my bowl all washed out. I got my pans with aluminum foil on them. I should have done parchment paper, but I did aluminum foil, so here's what it is. Oh no, I got it all over my hoodie. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay, we actually have a measuring cup for that. One fourth, and it says soft and not melted. So I'm gonna put the butter in here and then slightly microwave it because the butter we do refrigerate it. So I want it to be slightly melted, like it says. Hey guys, so I'm not sure if this is not enough, but I hope it's enough. I'm gonna microwave it down and then we'll see. I think it might be enough. Okay guys, I'm gonna put a little bit more just like another little cube like that. Yeah. I'm going to microwave that and we're going to put it in the bowl. I'm so excited to see how these cookies come out. I hope that's enough. Okay, I got it melted. The top may not be that melted. But it said not really that melted, but soft. And so... Okay, y'all, and then it literally says one tablespoon of water. <laughs> okay, guys, I literally got one tablespoon of water. <laughs> I might need to put another tablespoon of water. So I'm going to mix this, and we're going to see if this is good. I think it might be. Just to mix it around. Or maybe I didn't soften the butter. I don't know. Oh no. Uh, okay guys, I'm gonna put a little bit more liquid because <laughs> this is not us. Oh my god, I see the issue. I'm an idiot. I put one uh, teaspoon instead of a tablespoon. Crap, so now I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna put the uh, tablespoon now. That was my fault. I might need to do another one too. Wait, that might have been perfect. Actually, no, I'm still thinking I need another one. Oh, nope, I think it's good. Okay, so I'm gonna fully mix this and then we're gonna see. Hey guys, so this is how it's looking. <coughs> we're gonna go. That. This is how it's looking. I'm gonna, uh, I don't know, maybe I should add a tiny drop of liquid, but maybe not. Maybe this is how it's supposed to be to form the cookie. Okay, so we're just gonna work with it. My hands are washed. I'll grab some of the cookie dough. I don't know how big to make them. I did spray some nonstick butter on the pan because I used aluminum foil, but I don't know if that was a good idea. First little cookie. <laughs> There's not as much as I thought there would be, too. Okay, I got the oven preheating, but it says drop dough by tablespoon, two inches apart, an ungreased cookie sheet. I did aluminum foil and I put nonstick butter. I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably definitely should have not done that. But it's, it's okay. All right, guys, I'm about to make both kinds of cookies. So these are sugar cookie ones. I'm about to make the chocolate chip because it's not as much as I thought it would be. Now, I'm gonna clean my spoon off first, my broken spoon, because I just licked all the cookie dough off of it. Okay, so here's the chocolate chip ones. Then I already have a thing of a bag of chocolate chips open, so I'm gonna put some more on top. But I'm pretty sure it's made the same exact way. Yes, it is. It's even cooked the same exact way, so. So, yeah. I did 375, so that's good. Open this bag up. Okay, guys, so, uh, 
The oven is preheated, so I'm gonna hurry up, but I already got the water. Put that in there, because I got the butter right here. Now I'm gonna mix with my broken little spoon. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm gonna put a little bit more water. Okay guys, uh, this one was definitely harder to mix. Like, hard as hell. Okay now, I'm just gonna add some more chocolate chips. Then I'll sprinkle some on top. <laughs> and now I'm about to put these on the cookie sheet. Oh crap. Okay, there you go. I got some of that dough. Ooh. The chocolate chip fell. I should try to flatten it. Hope these cookies turn out good. <laughs> okay, so it's really not that much as I thought. This one's only five. The sugar cookie's only six. I should have done the teaspoon thing, like I said, but I did what I did. So I know I'm gonna grab my cookies first before anybody else gets any though. <laughs> but I'm gonna lick my hands off, put the bowl in the sink, and put these in the oven. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of nervous to see how they turn out. <laughs> but I guess we'll see. Okay guys, so I baked the cookies 10 minutes and let them cool down for two minutes. It is slightly charred on some parts. I think that's because I used non-stick butter, which I probably shouldn't have done because I put a shit ton of butter in them anyway because that's what it called for. So I'm just gonna, just gonna pick those off and ignore that. But these ones are the sugar ones. I probably shouldn't have done the non-stick butter. And then here's the cookies, the chocolate chip cookies. These ones look slightly better, but they still have a little bit of char. I definitely shouldn't have used non-stick butter because I put butter in them, but it's all right. Okay, so just to make sure there's enough cookies for everybody else, I got me chocolate chip and sugar and the him too sugar. And if there's any more left, I'll grab them for us. But the, the chocolate chip didn't turn out that bad. Oh, well, 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 <laughs> I bet they're still good. I like them. They're not even hard. This is because the non-stick butter I used. Which I shouldn't have done that. But the sugar cookie's really good. I like the chocolate chip one too. Just not as much. I like the sugar cookie taste better. I put extra chocolate chips on top too. In the future, if I make these again, I would not use non-stick butter and use a uh, parchment paper instead. And um, I would cook them maybe for 11 minutes because these are soft. Maybe a little bit crunchier would be good, but these are still good. Okay, but I am gonna end this video here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And then somebody was wanting me to paint my belly again. The only way I would do that, I'm not gonna lie, because there was so much pain peeling it off, is if I hit my goal, 500 subscribers. But that's probably gonna take a while, so you guys probably won't see that video for uh for a while. Forgot to say, I also won't be pregnant anymore when I hit 500 subscribers. By that time, I definitely won't be pregnant, so that's probably a sale video. I probably won't be painting my belly again, sorry. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll update you guys more on the baby because I should definitely be going into labor soon.